always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, it was certainly a messy way to ring in the month of May. Fortunately, weather's going to be quieting down and warming up for us as we head through the remainder of the week. We have one more day to get through, though. Let's start off with a view at Grand Valley State University in Allendale. Notice it's way breezy. Those flags are only really moving around, and the rain that continues to fall this evening. So, again, a nasty night out there, uh, capping off what has been a nasty day. Storm Track Live shows a heavier band of rain about to move into Kalamazoo. Elsewhere, we're seeing scattered rain showers, some snowflakes up towards Big Rapids and perhaps just east of Lansing. Overall, though, most of it forces rain at this time. Where it's not rain is off to the north. This is part of a low pressure system taking its time moving out of the Great Lakes. As a result, precipitation continues to wrap around the well. Focusing in on the Upper Peninsula, they've been kind of the talk of the weather world here today because of how much snow they've gotten. Some of these snowfall reports are from earlier this evening. Ishpeming at 17 and a half inches, Marquette at just under 15 inches. Their old daily record was five inches and some change. Ironwood at 10 inches, Gwyn at 10 inches, and uh, all across the Upper Peninsula, we're seeing some pretty remarkable totals. Show the see at 6 o'clock. Marquette's first snow day of the year was on October 18, two weeks before Halloween, and they already closed for tomorrow. So that's about a seventh month gap between their first and their last snow day, which is extremely impressive. Snow day for good reason, obviously, with almost a foot and a half of snow falling there. Back here at home, we're tracking rain showers through the remainder of the overnight. Some snowflakes mixing in at times, but it looks like the predominant precipitation type especially along the lakeshore, will be in the form of rain. As we get towards noon, we'll see those showers shut off and begin to move east. And outside of a few sprinkles Tuesday evening, we'll see a drier evening tomorrow than we have tonight. Especially as we head into the day on Wednesday, we'll just be mostly cloudy with a few peaks of sunshine, getting the chance to dry things out. Some sunshine begins to make more of an appearance beginning on Thursday. Additional rainfall amounts likely a tenth or two. Uh, to go with this system, so nothing overly impressive, but we're going to keep adding on to the totals we've already gotten. 39 right now in Grand Rapids, 40 in Holland and in Kalamazoo. Wind chills in the upper 20s to low 30s. Yeah, those aren't going to get a whole lot better. Many of us will be waking up to wind chills in the 20s tomorrow morning. The good news, though, boys, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. May is going to be feeling a whole lot better by next weekend. Perfect timing, too, with uh, tulip time beginning this weekend and then the riverbank run next weekend. Both of those Looking pretty warm for us right mm -hmm. now, so we have uh, we have some nice weather on the way. Oh, that's 67 and sunny. It's gonna feel yeah. so. Oh, I nice. love that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, Blake.